we are watching an operation to correct a patient's vision. Results of surgery depend, in large part, upon the quality of miniature instruments. The sharper and more exacting the scalpel's edge, the less the scarring and the less distorted the patient's vision after the operation. Electrochemical machinery is able to achieve this level of exactitude. Electrochemical machines also produce items of complex shape for gas turbine engines, blades, for example. Blades whose form resemble potato chips can only be produced with electrochemical processing. This work is carried out with super hard alloys where high precision is required. The machines will process practically the entire spectrum of metals, including nano alloys, and they will do so without changing the unique structure of the metal's surface. All of this is possible because there are neither thermal nor mechanical influences in the machinery's work. Moreover, there is no wear to the processing instrument. The mechanism for processing is based on electrolysis. The blank is converted to the positive pole. The machine tool is connected to the negative pole. A neutral saline solution is used as the electrolyte. Voltage is delivered. The electrochemical reaction begins. On the instrument, reduction process. On the blank, oxidation. The oxidation products precipitate and are removed from the electrolytes. The amount of metal removed, more precisely oxidized, is proportionate to the strength of the current and the length of time processing goes on. Here lies the technology's uniqueness. Short bipolar impulses of ultra-high current are applied to the electrodes. They raise the precision of processing to the sub-micro and the nano level. Rosnano has invested 120 million rubles in the project. The factory in Ufa was commissioned in late 2010. By 2015, the Pashkortostan facility is expected to produce not less than 5% of the electrochemical machinery sold worldwide.